It's like that constant knife in your stomach. A search is underway after a toddler is taken by his mother who doesn't have custody. Now, Rob, Trisha, we are actually live outside of the apartment complex where the 21 month old Elijah Michael was taken. As you can see, if you take a deeper look into the apartment complex past this gate here, you can see the front doors. This is where it leads to the apartments. Now, Elijah Michael's mother, who does not have custody, took Elijah through those stairs, down the sidewalk, and out this front gate. Now, that was nearly 19 hours ago, and that was the last time Elijah's father, Christopher Michael, actually saw his son. He says in this time frame he cannot eat or nor sleep, and he says mainly he is worried for the the well-being and safety of his son. Just went back, I missed his little laugh, screamed attitude even. He'd tell me, no, I don't care at this point. I just wish he was here. Tuesday afternoon, Christopher Michael's grandmother was watching his son, 21-month-old Elijah Michael. And around 2 o'clock, Elijah's mother, Ivana Da Silva, picked up her son. But according to the Cincinnati police, Da Silva does not have custody of him. I've actually had him since he was a newborn. She only breastfed for two weeks and then she went to jail. And then um, I've had him his entire baby stage. I've, he, I'm everything he knows. It's rough. There's no sleep. I slept maybe two hours. Uh, I wasn't able to eat for the first until my stomach. I had to eat finally. Uh, it's not something that I want to wake up to. Christopher and the Cincinnati police are searching for the endangered toddler and say De Silva frequents the College Hill neighborhood as well as Goshen. Christopher says he currently has a protection order against De Silva, and according to Claremont County Sheriff's Office arrest records, De Silva previously violated the order back in September of 2020. Definitely neglect, like not changing diapers, maybe crying endlessly, um, not being fed. My son doesn't deserve that. He's a, he's a perfect little angel. He's not even old enough to know the, the right or wrong really yet, you know? Um, so him not getting the care he needs or the care he's normally getting is, is dangerous to me, period. It could it hurt his mental state. It could mess him up for the rest of his life going through something traumatic. Police say De Silva could be driving a white Toyota Route 4 or a silver Ford Bronco. And they ask that if anybody knows the whereabouts of Elijah or sees Elijah or De Silva, to please contact the Cincinnati Police. Reporting in College Hill, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Yeah, guys, I'm live here in Crawford Woods because this is where detectives and Equisearch, Texas Equisearch looked for Kara Hyde over the weekend but did not find her. Now, her family says that that search over the weekend is now narrowing the options of where she could be. The search through Crawford Woods was the last organized search for the time being. There's no searches planned because there's nowhere to search. Tearful emotions are still close to the surface for Kara's mom, Lisa. I want her found. I need her. I need to find her. Right now, Kara's family is focused on working with the Hamilton Police Department to track down every lead to bring the lively 23-year-old home. She's a very sweet and loving person. They would do anything for you. After the search in Crawford Woods came up empty, her mom, Lisa, says she started thinking about where else she could be. She thinks one option is that she is being held against her will. That's my urgency to find out where she is. Another option is tied to Kara's past of struggling with substance abuse issues. Well, I feel that Kara may have possibly OD'd and um, if she was with someone, they may be afraid to say anything. That is why Kara's mom is urging anyone with information to call police and leave an anonymous tip. That's all anyone has to do for me to find my daughter. That's all anyone has to do. Right now, the Hamilton Police Department is offering a $500 reward for information that leads to Kara being found, and her family is offering a $1,000 reward for that same information that will lead to her being found right away. Reporting live in Hamilton, Cody Fisher, Fox 19 Now.